The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam. First Canto, Second Chapter, Text Number 12 Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Recorded on October 23rd 1972 in Vrindavan, India. <coughs> so, the first of all, it has been described. What is the purpose of life? This human form of life, it is not meant for being spoiled like the dogs and hogs. The dogs and hogs, they are busy to find out food, where is food, where is food. And they are spoiling the whole day and night. Their life has been made by nature in such a way that they have no other business than to find out where is some food, where is some food. And laboring, they are laboring very hard. So human life is not meant for that purpose. It is a chance given by the nature's way. <coughs> Eight million four hundred thousand forms of life we are passing through. Nature has given a chance the human form of body, especially civilized form of body. Nothing. What is the purpose? Just like Try to understand a government servant, a big minister or MPs, they are given all facilities of living condition, uh, good bungalow, nice salary, servant. Uh, what is the purpose? The purpose is that we cool brain. Uh, satisfied mind, they will be a- able to render valuable service to the administration. That is the purpose. Similarly, human being has been given so much facilities, uh, the grains, the fruits, the flour, the milk, uh, intelligence to construct nice house, nice road, nice cities. The cats and dogs, they cannot do it. Why? You live peacefully and try to understand the value of life. Not that we get more facilities for bodily comfort and we engage ourselves in sense gratification. No. Just like in the Western world, they have been uh, endowed with so much facilities of comfortable life, but because they do not know how to utilize the comfortable situation of life, uh, there is so much chaos and confusion. Uh, the so rich nations, young boys and girls, they are turning to be hippies. Uh, because they do not find. Uh, it is hackney. The same wine, same, same woman and same um, motor car and same road, it has been disgusting. Uh, that is nature's way. Because human life is not meant for that purpose. Human life uh, is meant for, as it is said in the Srimad Bhagavatam, jīvasya tattva jīgyāsā karma bhi. You are working so hard. You are so working hard. Why? 
is it meant for simply self gratification and satisfying the bodily needs that is being done by the hogs and dogs there we see the hogs they are always busy so this human form of life is not meant for that purpose jiva satatva jignasa or money but be comfortable but utilize time tatva jignasa arthat brahma jignasa that is your aim of life so this has been described in the previous verses as jiva satatva jignasa narth jastih karma bhi Uh, if you have no program for tattva jignasa, then why should you work so hard? Uh, food is available for birds and bees. You will have also your food that is already there, destined uh, by nature's way, by God's arrangement. Eko bhunam vidhati kama. God provides food just before your birth. A child takes birth. The mother, young mother, has no milk on the breast uh, a minute ago. But as soon as the child is born, immediately there is profuse milk in the breast of the mother. That is the nature of animals. Yeah. Before birth, the food the child immediately requires the mother's breast. There is milk supply immediately. Uh, so, by God's arrangement, the economic position is already arranged. Our only business is tattva uh, jiggas. What is that tattva? Brahmaiti, Paramatmaiti, Bhagavaniti, Sabda. The original cause of everything, the cause of all causes, uh, that is already mentioned. In the Vedas, uh, that uh, Krishna, uh, Ishara Parama Krishna, Satchidananda Vigraha, Anadi Radi Govinda, Sarvakarana Kana. Uh, the cause of all causes. Why we have come to this material world? Why you are under the uh, threefold miserable condition of life? Adhati Radi Bhoti Radi Daivi. Uh, these things have to be inquired. Uh, well, I do not wish to die, but death is forced upon me. I do not want to become old man. Old age is forced upon me. So these are the inquiries, tattva jiggas. Uh, but they are not interested, neither educational department nor any other department. They are simply interested, where is money, where is money, where is money. दीवा चाहते हया राजन कुटुंब भर नहीं ना वी आर स्पॉइलिंग अवर नाइट सिंपली बाय स्लीपिंग एंड एंड दोज हु हैव गॉट सेक्स फैसिलिटीज दे एंजॉय इन सेक्स लाइफ दिस इज द नाइट्स एंगेजमेंट एंड डेज एंगेजमेंट वेयर इज मनी वेयर इज मनी वेयर इज मनी एंड इफ यू गेट मनी देन हैव टू स्पेंड इट फॉर रिलेटिव फॉर सन्स चिल्ड्रन दैट्स ऑल vivacharte haya rajan so in this way we shall not spoil our life the life purpose is different they do not know the modern civilization do not know what is the purpose of life nati vidu sarth gati hi vishnu they are uh, trying to make adjustment political situation social situation so many problems The United Nations, they are trying to solve the problems of whole nation, but still, the war is going on between certain such party, certain such party, and everyone busy in politics and diplomacy. This way, the problems of life cannot be solved. <laughs> If there is any solution of the problems of life, uh, it is actually this Krishna consciousness movement. Uh, those who are intelligent, they should study the purpose of Krishna consciousness movement and try to apply in all fields of activity, political, social, uh, religious, uh, anything, economical, everything can be solved. 
This is called inquiry, inquisitiveness about the absolute truth. Now, this verse uh, is describing how one can become interested in the values of life. The values of life is to inquire the absolute truth, how this inclination can be developed or how Krishna consciousness can be developed. Uh, Tattva-jīgyāsā means Brahma, Paramātmā and Bhagavan, Krishna. Now, how this inclination, there is inclination in everyone, but by artificial means they have been checked. Uh, otherwise, normally this inclination is there in everyone's heart. Nitya Siddha Krishna Bhakti. Sadha Kavuna. It is not an artificial imposition. Naturally, there is tendency to know if he is a sane man, what I am, what is God, what is my relationship with him, why I am suffering. There are so many questions. So here it is suggested that if you are actually serious about Tattva Jignasa, to understand the absolute truth. So this is the process. What is that? Tat Sadya Dhana. Sadhya. Sadhya means that at least to understand that these people are doing some nice things. Just like in Europe and America, the papers are now discussing about our movement. They say they are nice people. And we want more of them. At least they are saying like that. Yeah. Yeah, these Hare Krishna people, they are very nice. And we want more of them. And in Berkeley, when our procession was taken, uh, the, the neighboring shopkeepers, they remarked that these people are not window-breaking crowd. Because as soon as uh, there is some crowd or procession, immediately they begin to break the windows and throw stones. That is, that has become a custom. So when they see that these people are very peaceful, even the police, they also give certificate that we don't have to take much worries to control this crowd when our Afajatra festival goes. So actually, this is the fact. Jashati bhakti bhagavad akhinchana sarvai gunai tattva samasati sura. If one develops Krishna consciousness, devotion to Krishna, then naturally, without any separate endeavor, all the good qualities will develop. This is the uh, symptom how one is advancing in Krishna consciousness. Uh, that means all the good qualities will be visible in his character. That is practical. Uh, anyone can test that like these boys, these girls, European American boys and girls, who have taken to this Krishna consciousness, just see how their bad habits have been altogether stopped. Sarva-yaguna-yitattva-samāsati-sudhā. Uh, all good qualities will develop. You see practically. Uh, you see practically. These young boys and girls, they never ask me that, give me some money, I shall go to cinema, or I shall purchase a packet of cigarettes, I shall drink. No. This is practical. Uh, and everyone knows that from the very day of birth, they are uh, accustomed to eat meat, but actually uh, they are habituated to these things, but they have all together given up. They don't drink tea, even coffee, cigarettes, anything. So, you know, in Tattva Samasa, this is the test. Uh, the man has become devotee at the same time smoking. Uh, this is ludicrous. This is ludicrous. Uh, 
A devotee cannot smoke, cannot indulge in intoxication, not illicit sex or meat or we cannot. That is disqualification. That means he is not dis- uh, on the platform. Uh, this is the practical. Uh. So, tasvadha dhāna. The first thing is sadhya, ādur sadhya. That is the beginning of uh, Krishna consciousness life. Rupa Goswami has given this formula that in order to attain to the perfectional stage of life, how to love God. Ah, Krishna consciousness movement means that we are ta- teaching people how to love God. This is the Saman Sarvastha. Ah. Unfortunately, people have no idea of God. Who is God? What is His form? Generally they think God has no form. Ah. If anyone has advanced little in spiritual life, they come to the point of nirākār or nirvīsēs brahma, formless. That is the first step in brahma realization. We have already uh, described it. Uh, but beyond that they don't want to proceed. They think this is, fa- this is final. Uh, to realize the impersonal feature of the absolute truth, uh, that is fine. That is Mahabharata philosophy. No. That is not final. Still you have to uh, advance, uh, realize Paramatma. Still you have to advance, realize God, the Supreme Personality of God. So we are teaching people how to love the Supreme Personality of God. That means one who has surpassed the realm of Brahma and Paramatma uh, they can uh, realize, they can understand what is the process of loving God. If they have no idea of God, then whom to love? You cannot love air or sky. You must have form. But they have no idea what is the form of God. Therefore Shastra says, here is form. Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha. Vigraha means form. Without form how you can love? Uh, so uh, to come to that perfection and stay, how to love God? This is our philosophy. How to love God? Savai Bhūsāṁ paro dharma jato bhakti radho khaji. That is first class religious system which uh, helps the follower to come to the point to love God. That is first class. Sabai Pum Sang Paro Dharma Jatu Bhakti Radho Khaji. Ohri Tuki Aputi Hata Jayatma Suprasirati. If you want actually peace and tranquility, Atma of yourself, of your mind, of your body, everything fully, then this is the process. Uh, uh, this is the aim, how to love God. So that stage, that supreme stage can be attained as it is described here. Tat sadradhana sadhya. Rupa Goswami therefore says, adu sadhya. In the beginning one must have a conviction that uh, I must love Krishna or God. Uh, this is the first. The Chaitanya Chaitamita Kar explains this sadhya. Sadhya sarde visya sudhira nishya. Krishna bhakti kaile sarva karma kritaha. This is called sadhya. Beginning. One, Bhagavan, Sri Krishna is sitting in the Bhagavad Gita. Sarva dharman parittajya mamekam saranam vraja. Ahamkva sarva papi bhama khrishyam. This is the beginning. Uh, if I am firmly convinced that simply by surrendering unto the lotus feet of Krishna, I will be saved by Him, because He assures I 
People suffer on account of sinful activities. The resultant actions are reserved there. What you are suffering now, it is the resultant action of our past sinful activities. And we are preparing another body in this life by committing sinful activities. The more we, everyone within this material world who has got this material body, it is to be understood, it is due to our past sinful activities. It doesn't matter what kind of body you have got. Therefore Bhagavad says that we should not uh, commit any more sinful activities. Nasadhumanne jata atmano ayam asannapi klesa dayasa deha. Although you have got this temporary body, you can say that although I am suffering, well, it will be finished within twenty or ten years. Asannapi, it is not permanent. But why you should make yourself? under these tribulations of life. That is the problem. Hmm. Not only that, asannapi klesa de asa deha, I have got this body, I am suffering, I am undergoing threefold miseries, threefold miserable condition of life. Why I shall make another body again undergo the threefold miseries of life? Not only human life, any form of life. Human life, the human form of life, there is possibility of little comfort. Suppose if I get a body like a tree, just like here the eucalyptus tree standing, then I'll have to stand for thousands of years. And I'll have to suffer scorching heat, severing cold and blast, wind, and so many things. So people have no education, unfortunately, that the spirit soul is permanent. It is changing different types of body in order to suffer different types of miserable condition of life. They are thinking, easy going. I have got now a very nice body, eating, sleeping, making, and that is the business of the horse and dog. That is not the business of human being. Human being must be serious to understand the value of life and prepare himself for the next life. The next life, if you go back to Krishna, Jadgatyana nivartanti tabdhamam paramam mama. Krishna says, you can go back to Krishna. Krishna comes here. He takes he is incarnation here to canvas. My dear son, please come back home. Why you are suffering here? Krishna comes. Krishna canvas. Sarvadalman Paritajya, why you have created so many rascal down? Politics and economics and this and that, so many things are encumbered. Please come to me, you will be happy. This is the whole instruction of Bhagavad Gita. He comes. He shows his Vrindavan Lila, that you can dance also with me. You can play with me, just like a horse boy. And I shall give you protection. There are so many demons, they are coming to attack us, but I will give you protection. Jolly life, Ananda Maya Vyasa. This is Krishna consciousness. Krishna is coming personally. But we are so stubborn, we shall not take to this. We shall not take to this. Abhajananti mana murha, namana duskita nam murha, prabhadnanti naradha. Krishna says, these are the classes of men who do not surrender unto me. Who are they? Duskriti na. Those who are engaged always in sinful activities. Duskiti, no. 
murha rascal without any knowledge assess <coughs> so duskitana murha and noradhama lowest of the mankind lowest of the mankind means this human form of life is meant for understanding krishna and surrender and to him but they will not get that we in so many other aspects now except krishna father this is their business naradhama you can say for oh, there are so many educated person ba ms bsc then they do not take to krishna consciousness we can to sit down here they are in fault for this आप में तो इधर आई है जी नहीं सो यू कैन से दैट सो मेनी एजुकेटेड पर्सन दे आर नॉट टेकिंग टू कृष्ण कॉन्सियसनेस आर दे नराधवान लोएस्ट ऑफ दी माइंड काइंड ये इमीडिएट आंसर इज ये ना आफ्टर पासिंग सो बिग बिग एग्जामिनेशन दे बिकम नराधवा ये देखो तुमने ठाकुर कंफर्म से जीव के करो एक गाधा जर विद्या सब मायर बोई हो दिस मेटीरियल एजुकेशन देर सिंपली एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द ऑपुलेंस ऑफ मायर इल्यूशन सपोज इफ आई एम डार्कनेस इन डार्कनेस इफ द डार्कनेस बिकम मोर एंड मोर डीपर इज इट एडवांसमेंट the darkness there must be light then it is advancement but if if, the, if, he, if there is little darkness if you make it more and more dark then is that advancement so here it is actually the advancement of so called material ed, uh, education is making the people more and more uh, hmm. attached to this material world The value of life is jnana vairagya. To acquire the knowledge, what is the value of life? And when one has actually attained to that platform of knowledge, he should be detached from this material. Jnana vairagya. That is required. But what is happening? There is no knowledge of the value of life. and they are becoming more and more attached to this material therefore uh, krishna says that so called advancement of edu- education means maya opposite of jnana uh, maya the illusory energy is plundering the real purpose of knowledge therefore they are not arha simply spoil in los angeles from the university many scientists come many psychologists and uh, psychiatrists uh, we have got many students also there doctor of science so we talk uh, so we flatly say that this advancement of education making you noradhama no is the main cause uh so they are convinced and some of them are very serious students so actually uh, uh, this education uh, that bhakti nath thakur has said jara vidya sa mayar boi bha tomar bhajane baba you will see the more a person is materially educated he has no interest uh, just like our whole state has become secular state no more interest Here is our Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Gandhi started his movement with Bhagavad Gita. The big, big politician Arvind, he studied Bhagavad Gita, and Tilak, he studied Bhagavad Gita. Now, uh, in our schools and colleges, if there is question of studying Bhagavad Gita, the state will not allow. Uh, is it not? Did he? Uh, so Maya also is a gyan. Such a cultural book, such a book of knowledge, great book of knowledge, Bhagavad Gita, that bad, it is bad. Uh, and if you present Bhagavad Gita with some nonsense commentary, that will be so. 
And when you speak, what was it as it is? Of course, factually, uh, now we are getting ground. Our Bhagavad Gita is selling more than other editions. Bhagavad Gita as it is. So actually, this is the knowledge. This knowledge is rejected. Uh, Maya Bhurita Jnana. Why this is happening? Asuri Bhava Mahasrita. Because they have taken to the shelter of atheism, the philosophy of atheism. There is no God. Everyone is God. I am God. You are God. Why you are finding out, trying to find out? Why, why you are going to the temples? There is no God. Uh, God is everywhere. God is everywhere except in the temple. <laughs> they will preach this philosophy. God is everywhere. Why you are going to the temple? That means God is everywhere except in the temple. That is their philosophy. So these nonsense things are going on. Uh, on Narabhava. Therefore they are Narabhava. Don't follow this Narabhava. Uh, be faithful. Try to understand uh, those who are actually followers of God. Evam param praptam evam rajasayo vidhu. So you take to this line of disciplic succession from Krishna and try to understand what is absolute truth. What is your relationship with you? How you can get out of the threefold miserable condition of life? This is possible. Oh. That is called Brahma Jijnasa, Tattu Jijnasa, Athata Brahma Jijnasa. The Bhagavata also says, oh. Jivasya Tattu Jijnasa. So this Sadhadhana, if we have got little faith, oh. that, that's like people come here with little faith. That faith is a little spark of fire. Now you have to fan it. Fan it so that fire may uh, uh, increase. Tasadhana uh, munayu. So Sadhadhana, Rupa Goswami has given us the formula that if you have got little faith in for understanding the absolute truth, Bhagavan. Then Adu Sadhya Tatu Sadhu Sangha. Associate with Sadhu. With Sadhu. Sadhu means devotee. Krishna says, Opiche Sudurachara Bhagati Mamananabha Sadhu Deva Sangha. He is Sadhu. Not a Sadhu having big beard or most it is an having great class without any sense of Krishna. He is not sadhu. Sadhu means one who is fully engaged in the service of the Lord. He is sadhu. Opita Sudrachara. Even if he is not very well behaved, Sudrachara, uh, still he is sadhu. Why? Bhagate Mahavananda he has no other business than to love Krishna. This is the symptom of sadhu. The sadhu sangha means, adul suddha tato sadhu sangha. Sadhu sangha means to associate with the devotees of Krishna. Adul suddha tato sadhu sangha ato bhajana kriya. Sadhu sangha, as soon as these boys, the first of all, they come, out of inquisitiveness to our several centers, uh, gradually they shave their head and uh, try to understand the books and literature. They then come forward, Swami give me initiation, get me the uh, sannyasi ashram. Gradually they come. Sadhu Siddha Tato Sasadhu, this is the effect of Sadhu Sangha. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastra Kaur. Lava Matra, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhya. Actually, if one associates with a sadhu, with a pure devotee of law, then certainly it will be effective. Certainly. This Krishna consciousness society uh, is meant for giving opportunity to the people to make association with bhakta. By association with bhakta devotee, they will become also bhakta. Sangha, sanjaya, uh, If you associate with drunkard, 
then you gradually become a drunkard. But if you associate with devotees, gradually become devotees. This is natural situation. So adu sadhya tato sadhu sangha atva bhajana kriya tato anartha nivittisya anartha things which are not wanted. Artha means wanted, something wanted. Anartha means that is not wanted. So we are habituated to so many things, bad habits. Uh, so anartha nivittisya this is the result of bhajana kriya. Anartha Anatta, just like uh, these things, as we prohibit illicit sex, intoxication, meat eating, and gambling. These are anatta. They are not required, actually. But people are habituated to these things on account of bad associates. So if you associate with really sadhu, if you execute really devotional service, these anathas will be vanquished. That is the symbol. No more illicit sex, no more intoxication, no more gambling, no more meat eating, fish eating, egg eating. No. That is called anartha. People are not dying for want, uh, for want of cigarette smoking. But it is heavy. You can give it up. You can give up so many things which is not required at all. Uh, so, these unwanted things will be automatically vanquished. This is the result of bhajana kriya. Not that uh, I'm chanting one hand Hare Krishna and another hand smoking. No. This is not anarthanivitti. The, if actually you are chanting, there will be no more in the other hand smoking, biri or serious. This is called anarthanivitti. Then, after anarthanivitti, then you become clean. Jesamantagatam papam. This is called the uh, freedom stays from all sinful activities. Because unless we are free from all sinful activities, we cannot engage ourselves in devotion and service. Jesamantagatam papam jananam punnakarmana. Te dhanna maho nirmakta bhajanti maan virabhrata. The bhajan, uh, devotional service, is possible when one is freed from these anarthas, unwanted things. Tato nishtha, tato ruchi, tatha shakti, tato bhava, sāvaka nāvayam premna prādhubhāvi bhavetrama. So these are the different states of sadhā. Actually, devotional service means increasing your faith more and more. And these are the steps. Uh, uh, the first step is that you must associate with devotees, and then take to bhajana kriya, then see, examine yourself, that whether you are free from all the anarthas, uh, all the unwanted things. If all the unwanted things are vanquished, then we will have fun free. Bhakti bhavati nashtiti. Nittam bhagavata sevaya. Nasta prayeshu avadreshu. Nasta, not that I am completely free from all sinful activities, but prayeshu. Say fifty percent, sixty percent is gone. At that time, nasta prayeshu avadreshu. How it has, it has come to take place? Nittam bhagavata sevaya. Nittam, you have to daily, not that Bhagavad Sattva and finish and whole year you can do all nonsense. Not like that. Nittam, Bhagavad Sattva. I don't find any Bhagavad Sattva, any authorized book. I don't find. There are so many big, big stalwart commentators of Srimad Bhagavatam, beginning from Siddhar Sami. Nobody has recommended this Bhagavad Sattva. But it has come to existence by the professional man. Uh, but actually, nittanga bhagavata siva. How you can finish bhagavata in seven days? You cannot finish even one word. My Guru Maharaj explained, Siva the Bhagavata, the first verse, Janmadrasya Jataha in Dhaka for three months. Actually, it is so profound. 
Janmārda Sajata, this very course contains all the Vedānta philosophy. So how you can finish Bhagavatam within seven days? Uh, it is the first. Uh, actually, Bhagavat should be released. Nittana Bhagavata Siva. Nasta Prayeshu Avadrish. Nittana Bhagavata Siva. Uh, uh, Bhagavati Yuttama Sloke Bhakti Bhavati Naishthiki. Sunet, pray. Seventy-five percent, fifty percent of your unwanted things are given up, and then your nice form, steady, devotional attitude develops. Uh, Bhagavati uttama sloke, bhakti bhavati nice thiki. Tato rajastamo bhava kamalu bhada yasthiki. Cheta etai anabhya sitam satte prasidati. You cannot have a steady position unless you come to the platform of goodness. Sita sattva, sattva means satagun, goodness. And rajagun and tamagun means calm and lust and greed. This is the same thing. And when you come to the platform of goodness, then you are satisfied. Uh, that I don't want all these things. Now I want Brahma, Brahma Jana, Tilti Brahmana. So these are the processes. So Bhagavad recommends Ta Saddha Dhana Munayo Jnana Bhuyagva Jittaya. There must be sufficient knowledge. Otherwise this kind of Bhuyagva has no meaning. Uh, I have, I have taken renounced order of life. But I privately have got all this nonsense, illicit sex, intoxication, gambling. That is not required. Real knowledge means there must be renouncement on this nonsense. That is real knowledge. Jnana vairāgva jutkaya munayo pasyanti yāta. For him it is not difficult to find out where is God. He can immediately find out God sitting within his house. Immediate. Ah. Hmm. Premanya me surita bhakti vilochanena santa sadaiva ridaesu vilochanena. Anywhere he can sit down and he can talk with God, he can see God, he can take direction from God. Pashanti asmani chasmanam bhakta suntabdhitaya. By devotion and service. Not by other means. Sruta Grihita. By understanding from the Veda. Not manufactured. Uh, just like Krishna said, Evam Param Prapratam Evam Rajal You have to hear from Krishna or from his bona fide representative. Then it will be satisfied. Thank you very much. Oh.